Today we're delving into the world of PCOS, short for polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a common health problem, yet it's often misunderstood or even unknown to many. This term, while a bit of a mouthful, describes a condition that affects 1 in 10 women of childbearing age. It's a hormonal disorder that can impact various aspects of a woman's health. And while the name might suggest it's solely about the ovaries, the reality is that PCOS can have wide-ranging effects on the body. The P in PCOS stands for polycystic, which means many cysts. These aren't the kind of cysts that require surgery. Rather, they're small, fluid-filled sacs that form in the ovaries. But it's not just about these cysts. The ovary syndrome part of the name can be a bit misleading because PCOS isn't just an ovarian condition. It's a complex disorder that can affect everything from a woman's menstrual cycle to her appearance and even her ability to have children. The complexity of PCOS means it's often difficult to diagnose, and its symptoms can vary widely from woman to woman. Some women may experience weight gain or difficulty losing weight, while others may have irregular periods or even no periods at all. Still, others may notice physical changes like acne or excessive hair growth. Despite its prevalence, PCOS is still a largely misunderstood condition, often leaving those affected feeling confused and overwhelmed. But knowledge is power, and understanding PCOS is the first step towards managing it effectively. In this video, we aim to provide a clear step-by-step -step explanation of what PCOS is, how it affects the body, and how it can be managed. We'll explore the signs and symptoms, delve into the potential causes, and discuss the latest treatments and strategies for living well with PCOS. Whether you're newly diagnosed, suspect you might have PCOS, or simply want to learn more about this common health issue, we're here to help make sense of it all. So, buckle up and prepare to demystify this complex condition. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery behind PCOS. PCOS seems like a bunch of medical jargon, doesn't it? Let's break it down. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, may sound complex, but it's simpler when we dissect the terminology. Let's start with polycystic. Poly is a prefix derived from the Greek language meaning many. Cystic refers to the nature of having or developing cysts, which are essentially fluid-filled sacs. So when we say polycystic, we are talking about the presence of many cysts. Now the term ovary. The ovaries are a pair of reproductive organs in women that produce eggs for fertilization. Each ovary is about the size and shape of an almond. When we link polycystic with ovary, we're referring to an ovary that has many cysts. Let's move on to the last part, syndrome. A syndrome is a collection or group of symptoms that often occur together and characterize a particular abnormality or condition. So when we say polycystic ovary syndrome, we're talking about a condition characterized by the presence of multiple cysts in the ovaries, which is accompanied by a group of symptoms. So to put it all together, PCOS is a condition where a woman's ovaries develop many small cysts. But it's important to note that PCOS is not solely about cysts in the ovaries. It's a multifaceted syndrome, which means it presents a group of symptoms that may influence various parts of the body, not just the reproductive system. The symptoms can vary widely from one woman to another, which makes PCOS a somewhat complex condition to understand and manage. Remember, the presence of cysts is just one aspect of PCOS. The syndrome is also associated with hormonal imbalances that can lead to a variety of symptoms, such as irregular periods, excessive hair growth, acne, and even fertility issues. Now that we understand the terminology, let's delve a little deeper into how PCOS affects the body. PCOS is more than just a reproductive health issue. This phrase rings true, as the effects of polycystic ovarian syndrome extend far beyond the reproductive system. It's a complex condition that impacts various aspects of a woman's body and overall health. One of the most significant effects of PCOS is hormonal imbalance. Women with PCOS often experience an overproduction of androgens, a group of hormones that include testosterone. While it's normal for women to have a certain level of these hormones, too much can interfere with the menstrual cycle and trigger the growth of ovarian cysts. This hormonal imbalance may also cause irregular periods or even lead to periods stopping altogether. Additionally, PCOS is often linked to potential fertility issues. The hormonal imbalance and menstrual irregularities can make it difficult for the ovaries to release eggs, making conception a challenge. It's important to note, however, that having PCOS doesn't necessarily mean you can't get pregnant. It simply means you might face more hurdles on your journey to motherhood. But the effects of PCOS aren't confined to the reproductive system. 
many women with this condition also struggle with insulin resistance, where the body doesn't respond as well to insulin as it should. This can lead to higher levels of insulin in the body, which in turn can trigger the overproduction of androgens. It's a vicious cycle that can contribute to weight gain, another common symptom of PCOS. Last but certainly not least, PCOS can manifest itself through skin changes. This can include conditions like acne, dark patches of skin, and excessive hair growth, particularly on the face, chest, and back. These skin changes are again tied back to the excess production of androgens. In conclusion, PCOS is a multifaceted condition with a wide range of effects on the body. It impacts more than just a woman's reproductive health, influencing everything from hormone levels to skin condition. Understanding the symptoms is the first step towards recognizing and managing PCOS. So what are the telltale signs of PCOS that we should look out for? Well, the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome are as varied as the women who live with it, but there are a few common ones that tend to show up more often than not. One of the most common symptoms is irregular periods. Some women with PCOS may miss periods, while others might experience very heavy or long periods. This happens because PCOS disrupts the regular cycle of ovulation, causing the ovaries to not regularly release eggs. Another common symptom is excessive hair growth, also known as hirsutism. This can occur on the face, chest, back, or other parts of the body where men usually have hair. This happens because PCOS often leads to higher levels of androgens, or male hormones, in the body. Acne is another symptom that many women with PCOS experience. This isn't your typical teenage breakout, but rather persistent, adult acne that may be resistant to typical acne treatments. Again, this is due to the higher levels of androgens that can stimulate the oil glands in the skin. Weight gain, particularly around the waist, is another symptom seen in many women with PCOS. This isn't just a cosmetic issue, but can also lead to health problems like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. PCOS can make it difficult for the body to use the hormone insulin effectively, leading to weight gain and other problems. It's important to remember though that not all women with PCOS will experience all these symptoms, and the severity can vary greatly from person to person. Some women may have only mild symptoms, while others may experience severe and disruptive symptoms. This is why it's so important to see a healthcare provider if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. They can help you get a diagnosis and start a treatment plan. Knowing these symptoms can help in early detection and treatment of PCOS. So if you're noticing changes in your body that don't feel right, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Your health and well-being are worth it. PCOS can seem overwhelming, but understanding it is half the battle. As we wrap up our discussion, let's revisit the key points we've delved into today about polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. PCOS is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age. Women with PCOS may have prolonged or irregular menstrual periods, and they may have elevated levels of male hormones. These factors can result in the ovaries developing numerous small collections of fluid, follicles, and failing to regularly release eggs. It's crucial to understand that PCOS affects the body in various ways. Its impact isn't limited to the reproductive system alone. It can lead to serious health conditions such as insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and heart disease. It's a pervasive condition that can significantly affect a woman's quality of life, both physically and emotionally. The symptoms of PCOS can be varied and can often seem unrelated, which is why it's important to recognize them. They can include irregular periods, heavy bleeding, excess hair growth, acne, weight gain, and even darkening of the skin in certain areas. Remember, not all women with PCOS will have all of these symptoms, and experiencing these symptoms doesn't necessarily mean you have PCOS. It's essential to consult with a healthcare provider if you believe you may have PCOS. They can help diagnose the condition and guide you through the management and treatment options. It's important to remember that while there is no cure for PCOS, the symptoms can be managed and complications can be minimized with the right approach and treatment. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more we understand about conditions like PCOS, the better we can manage them. Thank you for joining us on this journey into understanding PCOS.